All right, we're at the Contemporary, and there's the Gingerbread Castle. Um, saw this a couple years ago when filming them. I wanted to get back and try to check it out again. There it is. Let's get look to it. Get looking at it. And you're not here to see me. Not as grand as the one at the Grand Fleury in the Gingerbread House, but still pretty darn cool. <clears throat> Look, I bet you that's powdered sugar, too. It represents snow. And over here, it's some information about it. <clears throat> Twelfth year display. <clears throat> and I wanted to bet you there's some hidden Mickeys in here, too. Looks like he's going to be here. Tomorrow, unfortunately, I will not from 11 to 12. But he's the one who's responsible for creating this thing. That's awesome. <clears throat> Let's look at it from some different angles. <clears throat> oh, that tasty gingerbread there. And I do like myself <clears throat> some gingerbread. Look at that thing, that is cool. And that thing big too. Like I said, not as nice as the one at the Grand Fleury, not as detailed, but still pretty cool. I'm glad I came. I wasn't going to because everything going on had not been feeling well, but mom really wanted to see this in the gingerbread house. I thought, you know what? I've got to put my big boy pants on and get over here. If it makes her happy, it's worth it. And you do see a hidden Mickey right there, so I'm glad I came. She's very excited to see these. Okay, kind of a quick video, but I just wanted to film this. If you have any comments or questions, please put them below. They do this every year. And um, I'll see if I put in my link to when I filmed it a couple years ago. I'm not exactly sure if it looks different or not. I have to look at my video, but no one Disney, it's probably definitely different. Pretty darn cool. Well, one other thing, they do have a little store here where they're selling stuff. But I bet you live it's going to be just like... Uh, What they had at the other place, similar, yeah. Various places. Oh, peppermint bark. Bet you that's really good. Yeah, mostly the same as at the other place. There's a contemporary gingerbread brick. I'm gonna actually buy one of these. This is different from the shingle. Well, I'm gonna get a bark. Yeah, I am. But the bark is, uh, the brick is 650. And the um, peppermint bark's 14.29, I think. And some of these will be exclusive to um, this gingerbread castle. I'm just looking, all that cool stuff. And it looks like they have some hot chocolate and stuff. Alright, we picked up a few things. Today's the next day, January 1st. We picked up a few things at the Contemporary that they were selling for the Gingerbread Castle. Peppermint bark. And this was, oh, I had to see here somebody. This was 14 something. Oh, <coughs> and then the Contemporary Gingerbread Castle version of the shingle, which is the brick. Is 650. Now they sold this at the gingerbread house too. Uh, the the um, gingerbread house version of the, um, of the Grand Valerian was a shingle shaped and had chocolate on the bottom. This does not have chocolate on the bottom, which I actually prefer it without it. I think gingerbread's fantastic by itself, in my opinion. We're going to review this and try both of them. And I'll see the peppermint bark first. I almost bought this at the gingerbread house, but I thought, oh, I know, I kind of bought nothing for this. Go ahead. Take a piece. Oh. And no little piece. 
Here we go. Dark chocolate. I think it's white and what was this? Peppermint. Thing? It's a nice peppermint at the bottom. Your top, I mean. Mmm. I always love peppermint bark. You only see it during this time of year. Dark chocolate. Very rich. Perfect amount of peppermint on there. Doesn't overwhelm you. Good chocolate. Very good quality, and you see contemporary right there. Now here is the gingerbread brick. This I know it's going to be good. You know what? This will be good in coffee. Oh yeah. This was packaged on December 24th. We bought it on December 31st. Uh, the, the shingle, for instance, was packaged the 30th and we bought it on the 31st so mm -hmm. they make these on site they don't stay long for the most part and this is still pretty soft <laughs> try not to rip this bag because it's gonna keep this for a while before we finish it Take peace. okay here we go oh softer I don't like the chocolate either no. Ooh. I like that one better. No chocolate. Oh yeah. That's probably a little healthier too. Well I don't know, the chocolate thing you use is good chocolate. Definitely better without the chocolate. Mm. Classic gingerbread taste. Very good quality. Is that cheap? Like some gingerbread you can get. That's fantastically good. And I want to show you the Gingerbread Castle, like the Gingerbread House, had their own exclusive pin. Unfortunately, I was not able to get the Gingerbread House one at the Grand Floridian. Since I went the very last day, pretty mm -hmm. much, they were out of them. And they won't get any more because they only bought had them for that event. But luckily, at the Contemporary for the Gingerbread Castle, they had two pins left in the whole place. And I bought one of them. So when I left, they only had one left. And here it is. I don't buy pins very often. I've been going to Disney since what 2000 whoops 2001. I've only bought a handful but once in a while I just get that itch to buy one and I did so this will add to the maybe six other pins I have. I love them. I love the, would love to collect them but these are expensive. Without the discount this would have been Twenty dollars and the pins seem to go up every year uh -huh. uh, Different pins would be different prices, but they're still pretty expensive If you get heavily into collecting these you can easily go broke They cost a lot of money, and I know some people have massive collections So I'm not going to do that too much But that's it the gingerbread castle is cool and as cool as a gingerbread house tell them what they do with it well, I know with the gingerbread castle or house You'll break it apart when it's done. Some of them use part of it, a lot of the sugar and parts of it to feed bees, which I mentioned about um, in my gingerbread house video. They had a, um, a thing you could scan. It'll give you the information about it. I'll see if I could take a screenshot of that and put it in the video either here or at the end. <coughs> you can scan it with your phone. You give them information about it. I'm assuming they do the same thing with the gingerbread castle as they do with the gingerbread house, but they're both made of the same gingerbread. So it's good that Disney just doesn't just toss it. Um, because that'd be a waste. That's a lot of food there. Um, I think it's what, over a thousand pounds of gingerbread there, whatever it was. So if you add both of them together, that's a lot of food. So it's good that it goes to something and gets, I guess, stay recycled. Yeah. Any comments, questions about this, let me know. Put it below. Thank you for watching. Bye, everybody. Bye. See ya. Bye, everybody. Bye.